Gout is a very common type of arthritis caused when urate crystals deposit in and around the joint triggering inflammation. The affected joint becomes red, hot, swollen, and extremely painful. This is typically known as a gout flare or gout attack. One of the most common joints affected is the big toe. However, gout can attack any joint, including the ankle, the knee, and the wrist. Gout can limit people's activity and impact people's mood. But there is no shame in having gout. It is extremely common. And the good news is that you can easily treat and prevent gout attacks. Gout can be diagnosed by a doctor through history and physical examination. Another way is by analyzing the fluid in the joint during a gout attack. This is done by drawing up the fluid from the joint and then looking for urate crystals under a microscope. Gout can also be diagnosed using specialized imaging to look for these crystals. A gout attack is treated with anti-inflammatory medications, such as colchicine, ibuprofen, naproxen, and prednisone. These medications help reduce inflammation and therefore reduce pain. You can think of it as water that is stopping a fire. Gout flares typically respond well to this treatment. If not, a corticosteroid injection can be used on the affected joint. This is like a fire extinguisher to help put out the fire. It is important to understand that the anti-inflammatory medications only treat the symptoms and do not treat the underlying cause of gout. The cause of gout is the high urate levels and the urate crystals in the joint. It is important to reduce urate levels to prevent future gout attacks. The most effective way to reduce urate or remove urate is by taking a daily urate lowering medication, such as allopurinol. But when you begin taking medicines to lower urate levels, it might actually make your gout worse by causing a flare. And this is because the urate levels suddenly change. And that is why when starting something like allopurinol, it is important to also take anti-inflammatory medications with it. This will reduce fire risk whilst waiting for allopurinol to have an effect. Other medications that help reduce urate levels, like allopurinol, include phoboxystat and probenicid. Urate lowering medications must be taken every day and lifelong once started. It should not be stopped even if you have a gout attack. It might feel difficult at the start, but eventually you will have control of your gout. It's important to take charge of your gout because recurrent gout attacks over time can cause permanent joint damage. People who have repeated gout flares and persistently high urate levels for many years can even start forming urate crystal balls under the skin, along the joints and tendons. These urate crystal balls are called tophi. Preventing damage to joints and removing tophi can be done by taking urate lowering medications. Changing your lifestyle can also help. It is important to target the risk factors for gout, such as reducing alcohol consumption, changing your diet, including eating foods less in sugar, and any food that may cause gout flares. However, Studies have shown that diet alone is not effective in treating gout long term. It needs to be done with urate lowering medications. You can even measure how well your gout is controlled by measuring the blood urate levels. A target of less than 0.36 is ideal in most people with a history of gout. People with TOFI need a stricter target of less than 0.30. So to summarize, gout is a form of arthritis that is caused by high levels of urate in the blood that then move to the joints as crystals, 
triggering inflammation. Gout is very common and you can easily take control and prevent gout attacks. Treatment for gout includes treating gout attacks with anti-inflammatory medication and then preventing gout attacks through lifestyle changes together with urate-lowering medications such as allopurinol. Remember, at the start, urate-lowering medications can make your gout worse, but it should never be stopped and must be taken lifelong. Please see your doctor if you have any questions and take charge of your gout today.